And now, back to the WJZ First Alert Hurricane Season Special. Thank you for joining us on WJZ and CBS News Baltimore for our hurricane special. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Steve Sosna, and we've been talking about hurricanes, and one element of hurricanes that won't be going away anytime soon is climate change. So in order to understand how climate change impacts hurricanes, we have to understand hurricanes themselves, what they are made of, what makes them tick. And so here is what we look at as meteorologists to see if conditions are favorable for hurricanes to form. First, you got to have a source of fuel for these storms. And we're talking about water temperatures, usually 80 degrees or warmer. Above that water, you need warm, muggy air. And with that warm, muggy air, that air is rising up to the top. So that's two out of four important ingredients. Then we look for a cluster of thunderstorms. If you don't have any storms rotating around, you're not going to be able to uh, really intensify a storm. And lastly, you need light winds aloft. You don't want anything to rip apart that hurricane. And so that's how normal hurricanes form during a hurricane season. But if you change the factors in the ingredients just a bit, including our water temperatures, which are absorbing 93% of the Earth's excess heat. This is warming our ocean water temperatures to a degree where it's not healthy. And where that comes into play is when hurricanes move over those really hot waters. So what you're seeing here, extremely hot water is like octane for these storms with that extremely humid air. So basically it's a hurricane on steroids. It can uh, strengthen quicker, it can turn into a bigger size, and you're looking at a monster storm. So that's how climate change can play a role into this. Another way it can is warmer ocean temperatures all year round. So traditionally hurricane season starts June 1st to November 30th, but eight out of the last nine years, it's gone earlier, and that's because water temperatures have been favorable. So we've been seeing longer tropical seasons in some cases. Now, it's not always about the numbers. The numbers, obviously, averages are just numbers here because it takes one or two to cause huge problems. And guess what? We've had more than one or two. We've had above average seasons for the past eight years. But how do these storms impact the state of Maryland, a state with so much coastline? While we all know Maryland has not taken many direct hits from hurricanes, it doesn't take a direct hit to cause a lot of problems. And with strengthening hurricanes and in a climate that is warming, just fringe effects can have some really bad impacts. And here's five things that we're tracking with stronger hurricanes that may really hurt us in the state of Maryland. So let's break it down. There are a lot of myths out there with climate change that you're going to get a number of more hurricanes than you usually do. And that really isn't true, but some factors that are true, higher rainfall intensity. We're talking about extreme rainfall amounts. That's because the atmosphere is warmer. It holds more water vapor. The storm is stronger and a lot of these storms are moving a little bit slower. So rainfall, a huge problem. A second thing that is a huge problem with these storms is they will become more intense, but that doesn't mean they're all making landfall. So more storms and more landfalls, not so true, but stronger storms and more intense rainfall, absolutely. And that is a problem across the state of Maryland as we're very vulnerable to flooding, both coastal flooding and flash flooding. The hurricanes that cause the most problems are the ones that undergo rapid intensification. These are hurricanes that strengthen rapidly, usually during the nighttime hours, 35 mile per hour winds or more in less than 24 hours. What these storms do is they tend to cause big problems because the intensity changes so quickly. You go to bed, it's a category one. You wake up, it's a category four. So that is a big problem with climate change. And we've seen this time after time again. 56 storms that have caused $1 billion worth of damage or more. Almost three out of four of them went under rapid intensification. So what we're looking at here is our coastline. That is the most vulnerable spot for us. We have thousands of miles of vulnerable coastline and just one foot of sea level rise causes problems. We see that in Dorchester County, the forecast by uh, 2100, we are looking at three to four feet 
above average. In addition to that, we know what storms bring us because we've had it before in the past couple of years. Tornadoes, stronger winds, and those extreme rainfall rates. So what can you do? You need to plan, prepare, and also react. You do this with your family, you educate yourself. We have plenty of resources, of course, and we will list them on our website, cbsnewsbaltimore.com. And of course, we will be with you every step of the way of hurricane season. Stay with us. We are going to take a look at the history of hurricanes throughout the state of Maryland. The WJZ First Alert Hurricane Season Special will be right back.